Hello, FBC Salinas, Pastor John coming to you with another edition of the Midweek Refresher video. I want you to keep that word in mind, Refresher, because of what's going to happen today during the Midweek Refresher video. Hey, I desire to provide two things. Number one, information. Number two, inspiration for you in the middle of your week. I tell you this every week. I hope that everything is going well for you this week. We're praying for those who've been affected by all this rain and flooding. We'll continue doing that very thing. and want to thank you for the way that you're praying for one another, as well as being generous with doing what you can to help people through this time. All right. So, hey, a few informational things to go over with you real quickly. The first is this. This Saturday, this Saturday, March 18th, we are going down to Chinatown. We're meeting here at the church at 240. We will be there from 3 to 5. We're serving a meal, hanging out with people there. Invite you to be a part of this. It's going to be a great experience. I say that every single time we go down there. It's a great time to connect with people and remind them of how great our God is and what he desires to do in their lives and through their lives. And so I invite you to be a part of this. That's this Saturday, March 18th. Meet here at the church at 240. We'll carpool down there. It goes from 3 to 5. Hope you can join us. All right, so that's March 18th. Then on uh, March 31st, we have a Men's Transformation Conference. It's March 31st and April 1st up in Hollister. It's at this ranch. It's always a wonderful time with the guys and great teaching, great fellowship, great food, great singing. It's a great weekend. I, don't, I think I probably say that way too often. This is a top shelf event meaning that what you are going to receive at this conference is really, it's excellent. That's the teaching's excellent. I can't emphasize that enough. So if you have questions about this, please reach out to us. You can email us at info at fbcsalinas.com. Be more than happy to answer your questions about this. There's a sign-up sheet that'll be at the Welcome Center. We would appreciate that. And the other thing is this, starting this Sunday, you're gonna see the barrel out in the lobby. Why is the barrel out in the lobby? Great question. We are gathering candy for our Easter Day egg hunt for uh, the children. And so we want to fill that barrel. And again, I want to see that barrel filled more than once. It'd be great to have it filled more than twice. We want to overwhelm this barrel with candy. And then the great thing is, those of us that don't have children, we get to give away sugar, in essence, to families that do have children and they get to deal with that. Doesn't that sound sneaky fun? All right, so, so that's starting this Sunday. We'd love to have you there. And also this Sunday, you're gonna notice this. We're gonna talk about our Holy Week schedule. I'm not gonna go over the details right now, but Holy Week's coming up in a few weeks. We have a lot going on that week. It's always a great time there, all right? So that's the informational portion. If you have questions, reach out to us at info at fbcsalinas.com and we'll be more than happy to answer those questions. Hey, so I told you this, I, and we're in the inspirational point now. I told you this, to pay attention to the word refresher. And listen to this verse from Proverbs chapter 25. It is verse 10, verse 13, I should say. Listen to this. Like a snow-cooled drink at harvest time is a trustworthy messenger to the one who sends him. He refreshes the spirit of his master. This verse, I ran across this verse yesterday in my devotional time, and every time I see it, it reminds me of how important it is to refresh one another and to be an encouragement to one another. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to introduce you to a person who refreshes my soul almost weekly. And since I've been here for six and a half years, it is always a joy for me to get to interact with this individual. It might be a few minutes here. It might only be a few seconds here. But any time that I get to hang out with this person and pick their brain and talk to them, I always leave more refreshed and more encouraged. This person does a great job of encouraging me. I don't know if they know that or not, but they certainly do. And so I'm going to slide them in right now, and I'm going to slide them in right now, and you get to see the refresher. All right? So this is Don Cranford. We're going to do rapid fire, Don. Okay. All right? You're good with that? Sure. Okay, sure. Now, Don just found out about this, I kid you not, right, 15 minutes ago? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe 15, and that's pushing it, right? Pushing it. So he thought that all this stuff is always rehearsed and that we have it all planned out. I want you to know, this is spur of the moment. Anytime I interview somebody, 
they have no idea what's going to happen. All right. So you have no idea. No, I do. You have no prep. <clears throat> nope. But I'll tell you this. Okay. I'm loving you and I love you. <laughs> and I'm glad that you're with me right now. And I simply wanted to take this opportunity. I'm going to ask you some questions, but I want you to know how much of an encourager you are to me. Okay. And I am grateful for that. It means an awful lot to me. Your refreshment, your, your encouragement to me. And it's not always... You're not always just making stuff up. You Sometimes you say some things that I need to hear that I didn't really as I needed to hear them, but I appreciate your encouragement, and okay. I appreciate you being a refresher. Okay? So sure. I'm just going to rapid fire. Okay. You. Oh, we're good? Yep, go. Okay, good. So I'm just going to ask you a few questions. Okay. All right? And you can answer them however you want. <laughs> Don't think overthink them a lot. Okay? How long have you been coming to FBC Salinas? My whole life. Your whole life. So give me the year. 78 years. 78 years. All right. So you're pretty much, I mean, from the time you were born till today, you've been in this church. Well, that's not true. I, I did leave for about 10 years. Okay. Between military and school and stuff. But, but you served in the military. Yeah. What branch? Air Force. Air Force. What did you do? This is terrible. It's on the Air Force ski team. You were on <laughs> the Air Force ski team? I didn't work very hard. <laughs> oh, my. So you got to ski yeah. for the Air Force. Yeah. I somebody, had had to do it. somebody had to do it, and you're more than happy to do it. do it. That is really cool. So Air Force ski team, yeah. right? Well, that wasn't any good. Well, that's okay, <laughs> but you still did it. Yeah. You still served, right? So that's really cool. Thank you for doing that. I didn't know you could do that. So, so then you though have been in Salinas all that time outside of your military service, yeah. correct? Okay. So then, one of the things I appreciate about you, and I do this every fall. I don't think I did this. Well, actually, I think I did. You always, you are tuned in to what we can anticipate for weather, correct? I try to be. You try to be. And part of that is because of what you did professionally, right? Yes. So you understand soil, right? I do, I do. You understand soil, and that was really where, I mean, that's what you did for your professional career. Mm -hmm. What got you into that? Uh, that's a long story. That's okay. Make it short, though. <laughs> I wasn't going to. Okay. I, didn't, I was going to get a job. I had a job in the bank and wore a suit and tie. Okay. And I liked that. Right. Okay. And I learned there's two types of dirt. Right. The farm dirt, you can take a shower and wash it off. And corporate dirt sticks. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. So, and that's really cool. Because I remember you telling me that part of the story, that corporate dirt stays with you. Yeah. Dirt, dirt, you ag dirt, you can rinse it off and move yeah. on. You came to a place where you said, I'm not doing the corporate dirt okay. thing anymore. And so you got into the soil. You got into, mm -hmm. into that. And so what do you find interesting about soil? It's God's touches it daily. You see everything, the microorganisms that are involved in it. I, know there's a, I haven't counted them, but right. repeating, there's more life on the soil you're stepping on with one foot than there is on all planet Earth as human beings. What? Yes. So there's more life under your foot you can't even see. The but the soil is a, it's a living organism. It's a living thing, and it's it's really important to maintain it. And I, I like doing that. that. And you do a what? You do a great job at that. So you got your garden, and and not just your garden, but you've done other stuff. I mean, oh, yeah. you've done a ton of stuff. I had no idea there was that much life in the yeah. dirt. Mm -hmm. That's amazing yeah. to me. Yeah. All right. Good so stuff. so that's good stuff. So now I'm going to shift gears a okay. little bit. What's your favorite book in the Bible? Depends on what time of the year it is. Okay, right now, this time Job. of the year. Job? I just finished reading it. I, I laugh at it. I love that book. You love Job? Yeah. It's, and you laugh at it. Why do you laugh at it? Because the, the, the people are human beings. Yes. Like we are. They do things that are foolish. Yes. And they do things that are right. Mm -hmm. And it's just the overall picture. I'm, I'm sorry in case somebody got wiped out. Yeah. Right. And. I'm surprised God didn't wipe his wife out. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. Yep. But he yep. didn't, and they right. rebuilt a new yeah. life. So I, right now, it's Job. It's Job. And that's a, I, I, I don't know if I've ever heard anybody say that Job's their favorite yeah. book. Well, I mean, just because you're finished reading it. Just because you're finished reading yeah. it. That's good. So then, next question is, um, what is it that you enjoy most in life? Wow. People. Okay. I, yeah. I like the social interaction with people either in a, a workplace or a social place mm -hmm. or just people. That, people. That's, that's what it boils down yeah, to. People. Life for you is people. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to ask you some really softball questions. Okay. Right now. I'm ready. All right. So your favorite professional 
team, professional sports team. Are you a Niners fan? Only when they're winning. Okay, so that works. Okay, so that makes yeah, a lot yeah. of sense, which recently that's been yeah, true, so that's fun. been good. Are you a, are you a Giants fan? No, I'm, I'm not really a sports fan. You're not a sports fan. I rather, I used to want to always play. Right. Watching was boring. Watching them's boring. Okay, so but, but let's connect. Yeah. Let's connect this. Skiing. Yeah. You and why did you enjoy skiing so much? It was the winter time. We had time off to go do things. And okay, good. So okay, just, good. Okay. Yeah. So what's the what's what's a mountain that you absolutely enjoyed skiing? Oh wow! I think probably my most favorite one would be at. Heavenly Valley at Gun Barrel. Okay, Heavenly Valley at Gun Barrel. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. that's... It was a challenge. That's a challenge. What made it so challenging? It just, you could, you could fall down. <laughs> <laughs> you could fall down. You could yeah. fall down. So, and and I used to ski, I, when I was doing student ministry back in Kansas and then in Arizona, we would go on ski trips. You don't have hills in Kansas. I know, that's why we went to Colorado. Well, you'd let me finish. This is my video, by the way. This is my video. I will direct the conversation okay. here, Don. So... But yeah, we'd go to Colorado and it was amazing. I love skiing, but then I also took up snowboarding. That was a painful experience. Yet once I learned it, it was like, this is a blast. So it was really, I, the mountains, the grandeur, yeah. the majesty, the, the beauty of God's creation, right? Yes. And you realize how small you are. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Right, good. So what do you enjoy doing in your spare time? Uh, well, I had my antique cars for a long time. Yep. I Which of those antique cars do you enjoy most? Okay. And that's a tough question because yeah. I know. Well, no, um, I tell everybody the Camaro I've got, the 67 Camaro. 67 Camaro. The first day they came out. Right. Cherry car. Yeah. My wife bought that car brand new. Wow. And that's why I married her. <laughs> <laughs> you married her because of the 67 oh, yeah, Camaro? Oh, well, at least now we know. Lois, we know the inside story. So I go ahead. Yeah, okay, that's that good. Was, so 67 Camaro. That was a nice car. And then I like my uh, 14 Oval and my antique. It's called a horse's carriage. Okay, a horse's carriage. Yeah, yep. Yeah, okay, good. Okay. Hand crank. Hand crank that but thing. Yep. They were fun because they were the mechanical marble, yeah. you know, the, the minds of the people who were building them didn't have the technology we have today. Right, so exactly. they were inventing all this stuff. Yeah, and exactly. So there was problems. Yeah, it was right. just fun. But they worked it out. Oh, they yeah. figured it out. Yeah. So so the 67 convertible and the 14 yeah. is what you're talking about. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah. That's really cool. So now I'm going to ask you one last question. Okay. Okay. What has, what has impressed you the most about Jesus Christ in the last year? Something that perhaps you haven't thought about before in the last year. I think it's more of his his giving. Though okay. looking at Garden of Gethsemane and how he was going through a hard time, all for us. Yeah, and that is getting a new meaning. You've gone through it every year, and you almost gets road, but now it, it's starting to sink in differently. That that's cool. It's something that he's done for all of humanity. That was before him, during him, and after him. Mm -hmm. So we have an yeah. opportunity, and that's just bigger than I get my head around sometimes. Right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's and it, and we had the privilege of going to Israel together, oh, I, and I, uh, I, what a wonderful time that was, right? That was unfortunately, it's not all there. I had to go back and I had to go scratch to yeah. find more of the, right. the detail from when we were there the first time. Yeah, but exactly. It was a wonderful experience. It was a wonderful time and yeah. stuff. So now I'll switch it. Do you have any questions for me? Oh man. Not, not today. I'll figure. <laughs> well, you got an opportunity. I know. I know. You got an opportunity. You don't have. You don't have any yeah. questions. Um, why do you like golf so much? Wow, good question. <laughs> I love. I think for me, golf for me, there are so many correlations to life. Okay. Sure. And I'll just give you one. Mm -hmm. I am. I can be pretty hard on myself if I make a mistake. I pretty much, and I'm talking about life, mm -hmm. I can obsess about that mistake for a long time. In golf, and there are going to be mistakes made. It's not if you're going to make a mistake, it's when you're going to make a mistake. In golf, when you make a mistake, if you dwell on that mistake, you you're done. Yep. Your round is, you're, you're, perhaps if you don't get a handle on it, your round is over, the next shot is not going to work out. So what golf, God, I don't say this, God has used golf to teach me about life 
be, and that's just one example. Mm -hmm. I, if I make a mistake on the golf course, it's like, okay, made a mistake. Now we have to, John, you need to get out of this because you can't dwell on the past. That's right. And I think too often, all of us dwell so much on the past that we're not ready for the present and then we're not ready for the future. God's taking care of us. It's forgiven. And we need to keep stepping forward. So that's part of the reason why I love golf so much. Mm -hmm. I could go on and on and on about how much <laughs> I love. I love being outside. I love being away. You know, I just, just I enjoy the guys I play with. I, and we live in golf paradise. Pretty nice place. It's pretty nice. Yeah. And so that's why. Okay. That would be it. Okay. Stuff. So that's, a, that's good. a good question. All okay. right. I appreciate that an awful lot. So, so Don, we're done, right? All right. So we want to wish you a great rest of the week. And we want to wish you... The op not wish, that came out wrong. <laughs> Want to invite you to take the opportunity to refresh somebody this week. Encourage them, say something to them that, that perhaps you don't even realize is going to make that much of a difference. Because I don't know if Don realizes how much of a refreshment he is to me. But take that opportunity and enjoy that opportunity. Love you, thankful for you, and praying for you. God bless. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.